All right, I started on uh, paint here. What I've done is pulled out the uh, interior stuff. I've uh, kind of went through here and squirted the door jams. Top of this looks like I had a little hole I need to fix there. Uh, this primer is non-sending primer. I couldn't get it to harden, so I mixed it up with acrylic enamel hardener. And that's hardening up. I'm just getting some of the jams and things here. Here's the, the trunk. I've got still quite a bit of little stuff to do in here. But basically, that's all good. I painted the uh, frame here. I primered all of it. I just squirted a little black paint on it here right now. Uh, tail lights. I did the uh, all of the interior here of the trunk. I primered real good. And uh, it all looks pretty decent. We're just trying to get all the dirt and stuff out. Here's the... Uh, passenger door I didn't really do this too well because uh, I didn't want to get paint on the window I hadn't masked anything I didn't get this down in here at all but I basically got the door jam this carpet is just seriously glued in there I was gonna pull it all out but uh, I was gonna replace the carpet but that doesn't look real super bad. I'm going to pull it out and put red carpet in it, but uh, rather than going through all that work, I'm going to just try to get this thing painted and running. The door jams turned out pretty good with the primer. And uh, it's hard. Uh, this primer I used on the side of the fender here is good. I did a little <coughs> folding around here. This is the uh, where the uh, emblem went. I rough sanded this with just a little bit of the primer where the hardener was left in the gun. Squirted it. You can see where I was the last of the lacquer thinner right there I was cleaning up. But basically it looks really nice. Uh, this is non-sanding primer, but I am going to sand it. But uh, at least we started putting some primer on it. I got the bumper off, and all of this uh, front part painted black here. And now I'm just going to both the insides of the fenders here have been primered real good. You can see that. pretty good inside of there so gotta keep all that from rusting and uh, now I'm just gonna put everything on and make sure that it all lines all of my uh, seams and everything are good rough sand the whole car get a, a good coat of this white primer on there this is going to let me see where all my little dents and stuff are. And then I can uh, start final sanding this thing and clean it up. Well, here we are at a somewhat of an intermediate step. Pretty much did this med dirt and about half the hood. I got this all cleaned up good here and everything out of it. I got all the dents out of this door. That's where the uh, mirror goes. Bottom of the door is pretty good. I need to do this little side here. We did the, uh, the roof. I got a few little things in it still. 
I pretty much finished up this back part here. Looks like I have one dent still right there. Um, primer's not real dry. And I probably need to work on this uh, little section right around the tire here a little more. But uh, this tail light section's all good. I've got this whole fender here, uh, a little tiny dense, but glazing putty will take everything out this left. Got the tailpiece all done. And I'm up to this side of the fender. This one's got a looks like a dent in it. If you look at this one, it's nice and smooth. So I got a little work to do on that. Along this side, I've uh, got a guide coat of primer on all my Bondo down here on the wheel. I don't know, I don't think there's too many dents in this door. I did this front fender here and it's like the final skin coat of Bondo on it. So basically I've got a uh, rear fender and a door to do and half a hood to get this all primed up. I'll finish that tomorrow probably. And uh, then it'll just be a matter of finding little tiny stuff, spot puttying it up. And then uh, wet sand the whole thing. I'll be able to paint it. Mm, this is a mistake of, just keep going. This is a mistake of non hardening paint. You put it on a bumper, I put Bondo on it to try to harden it, and it wouldn't work. So now we gotta scrape it all off, try to prime it again. Moving along on this, I had to completely restrip that this bumper here because it uh, that old primer never hardened up. The bondo wasn't it just scraped off. So we cleaned this up yesterday. Put another thin skin and bondo on it. Put some primer on it. Finished up this hood. I decided to get rid of my board script in there, bundled that. I need to do a little something with that. I sanded a few little places on this fender. But the hood looks real nice. I got a little final touch up to do on it. But uh, basically it looks good. This fender here, I've got a couple little places that needs a little final touch up. Need to sand this door, prime it. I've uh, pretty much sanded this cowl here. Need to pull the windshield things off and prime it. I've uh, pretty much got this all straight where the around the uh, wheel. We've got a couple little more places in here. This uh, tail piece here need a little reshaping and it had a little dent there on the tail light. Shouldn't be too much trouble to sand this off now. I've got a uh, few little dents and stuff here. It needs to be cleaned up. Found another dent here. Got a little bit there on that door. But basically I've uh, got the whole car primered. Now it's just a matter of doing a little final sanding and picking up any little stuff like this that I that I'd missed. Uh, hopefully we'll get that done today. And uh, 
it'll just be uh, sanding the thing with wet or dry sandpaper and uh, be able to paint it. Here's all the interior pieces. I've pretty much got them sanded. The valence there, it's been primed. Just about all of this is uh, ready for some final sanding. And uh, I'm getting close to painting this thing now. Here's the next step in the saga. Here's the next step in the saga. There's a hood cowl seal that goes in there. These things are uh, little clips that hold a piece of rubber. I've pulled the screws out. You can see where they're rusted there. I've sort of sanded that side. Now I'm just going to clean all this up here and mask it and primer this white. And uh, then I'll be able to sort of seal this whole area up and get ready to actually paint it white. I decided to just go ahead and squirt some paint. I've got this pretty much all sanded off. Motor compartment mask. A little bit. Uh, I'm just going to instead of messing with this just try to go ahead and shoot uh, good white paint on it. Uh, most of this all covered up anyway. And uh, I've got it cleaned and blew off. So now I'm going to just take my little touch up gun and see if I can paint this area, see what the paint works like, or anything like that. I did a little practice in here, mostly to get used to this paint. Looks like it's pretty forgiving paint, it's going alright. Coming out pretty nice. This is first coat. Looks pretty good where I got a fairly wet coat on it. I can see just a little bit of orange peel in it. But uh, I wasn't putting it on real heavy up there. It's covering good. Good scratches. A lot of this I just sanded with 80 grit. And it's coming out flawless. Kind of worked around the door here. Went up my uh, window trim here. All in all, it's uh, paint's laying down pretty good. Doesn't smell bad. We'll just let this. Uh, tack up a bit and I'll put another coat on it but uh, for a full first coat looks really nice pretty forgiving paint well here's a double wet coat I also did a little piece of the roof here looks like I really put it on the paint on the tape there run it a little but it's fine on the body which is all I cared about looks good I got a little bit of dirt and stuff in it I also shot this door real light a lot of this was not sanded I can still see the sand marks so I want to get a kind of idea what the paint will cover but uh, it looks like it's doing pretty good I can still see a little orange peel right there and, and that part but uh, right in here, on this uh, front of the cowl, it's as glossy as you're going to get. Looks really nice. Maybe just a little bit of orange peel. And uh, you can see a little dirt in it here and there. But. Uh, not much more to be expected from painting it out in the dirt. But uh, 
basic look, looks really nice went real nice here on the uh, windshield pillar but the front of this cowl is uh, just beautiful I couldn't ask for anything better in here so this is not really a well, it's kind of dust free almost so I'm going to mix it up with a, quite a bit more thinner in it or a little bit more and uh, try to get this uh, little bit of orange peel out of the top give it this last final coat See what? well here's the uh, final wet coat looks really good up in here I uh, try to see yeah you can see the okay, I kinda got it on there real nice this turned out flawless the front looks like all the orange peel is going to come out of there the uh, those vents look really good it's glossy everywhere no runs here this side is uh, oh yeah it's going to look like a a mirror even covered up the little bit of dirt and stuff I had in it so anyway this paint is uh, covering really well looks like I got just a little bit of a run in there might be some Bondo that I didn't get out close enough for what I want Looks like the edge of the door I just test painted turned out pretty good but everything that was sanded and clean it just uh, I really can't kind of ask for anything better than that it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be so anyway I know what my paints like now and what a uh, where I got a sand and what I'm going to aim at that's why I did a couple of these test patches here and I did one also right here this was a light coat over some Bondo that I had machine sanded with 80 grit that'll give me an idea how well it covers and uh, same thing here I can see that it didn't cover that at all. It was, really wasn't even sanded. I just sprayed it. This is right over the sandable primer, which got a lot of dirt and everything else in it. But uh, anyway, I'm real pleased with this. Really pleased. So looks like uh, two fine coats and then a good medium wet coat thin it just a little bit more and uh, we're good to go all's good well, here we go after about 15 minutes it's uh, basically dust free all of that orange peel came out this thing is really really glossy just a little dirt in it not bad at all but it's uh, really glossy uh, just about everything came out of it there's no orange peel at all over here this side is just flawless all the way across So I'm real happy with the paint. I hated their primer, their crap primer, but the paint's really good. Laid on like a champ. Didn't get a run in it anywhere. Of course, it's pretty easy to paint something like this, but uh, we're basically uh, 
and just barely a little tacky, not much. And uh, it's just uh, just as flawless as it could be. I think it would have been even better if I had a paint shop and not got any dirt in it. But uh, just a little rubbing compound on this thing and it'll glow like a mirror. I wouldn't even have to put any on it. It's going to be beautiful. So I think Mr. Carr is going to look a lot better than what I thought it was going to look like. So, go back to that truck back there and finish up the day sanding on it. But uh, I just wanted to give you this little update on the paint. It's beautiful. Now, the inside of this hood was a complete mess. The primer wasn't hardening up like it had been on fire. I did quite a bit of work on it. Primed it's been sitting here for two weeks. It's still not dry. So I've just sort of sanded off the brace parts and I'm gonna squirt some of this paint on here and see what I can cover up and what this will look like. The inside panels, I'm gonna paint them black but I think I'll be able to get most of this pretty well. We'll see in a minute. Oh, well, there's the first coat. Looks a lot better than it did. I didn't really, back here where the paint was good, it's really nice. I didn't really spend a lot of time cleaning it up or anything. But, uh, Post coat looks really good. Covering up a lot of stuff that uh, was actually really bad. I'll let this uh, get dust free and then uh, pour some more on it. It's going to wind up making this hood look pretty decent too. Alright, here's the uh, double wet coat on this thing. Where it's uh, where it was sanded good. That's really nice. Uh, I let this dry dust free, then uh, come along and put a double wet coat on it. Had a little left, so I just went ahead and painted the inside here. Uh, but uh, really, compared to the way this hood was. Oh, this is a uh, hundred percent better a few places I just really poured the paint into it to see if I can get runs and stuff and uh, I didn't even get a run in it so it looks like this is a uh, really excellent paint It, uh, it covers really well. Doesn't run. It gives a really high gloss finish. Here's this one. It's now dust free. I feel it's just a little tacky, but uh, it's basically hard. It has a little bit of flowing to do still paint soft but it's dust free. It's like a mirror across here. And uh, same thing here. You can see there it's uh, just spectacular appearance. From uh, three feet you can't see anything wrong with it. You gotta get right down on it to see anything. So I'm real pleased with that paint. Starts part one of paint.